السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In tonight's segment we'll be discussing the 18th juz of the Quran In this particular section Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed surahs Al-Mu'minun, Surah Al-Nur and Al-Furqan In the first of these three chapters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly outlines the characteristics of a mu'min and a believer. And he precedes this by saying, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Verily and indeed the believers have been successful. So in order to attain this success, Allah then outlines and demonstrates the characteristics and qualities necessary to be a mu'min and a believer. And we will find that Allah speaks about the fulfillment of our salah our prayers, the protection of our tongues, as well as our private parts, and the fulfillment of the rights of others. In the next chapter, in Surah to an nur Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereafter then demonstrates how all of these characteristics are actually personified through various examples given in the Quran. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the incident of al-ifk or the slander of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha which teaches us as a society the importance of the protection of our private parts as well as our tongues from slandering and speaking ill and bad about our Muslim brothers and sisters so we find the practical implementation in surah to know as well as how we should interact with one another entering one another's homes greeting one another and that finally Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us the protection of the tongue is a very important thing but he didn't leave it just for us to figure out ourselves rather he teaches us and he tells us by reminding us that in homes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether this be the house of Allah the masjid or our own homes that if we want to protect our tongues from all this misinformation, miscommunication, false information even, and spreading these lies and rumors, the way we should protect ourselves and our tongues is by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the masajid, in our homes, wherever we are, especially in this day and age where it's so easy to spread lies and tell tales, backbite and slander with the push of one button. So. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us here the practical application of how to protect ourselves starting with our tongues. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us, to make us of those who constantly remember Him. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.